This is West Africa Weekly, a live series brought to you by Riglinks and RV Corps 9, where we talk about oil and gas news, projects, and developments that you can sink your teeth into. Here are your hosts, Greg and Arvi. This is our, which episode is this? I think this is episode 14. But um, yeah, today is Thursday, July the 29th. Um, RV is in Milan right now at the moment, not able to be here with us, but uh, we look forward to what she has to add for next week's show. So um, let's get into it. Here's our rundown. Um, We'll talk about our oil prices just for a moment. Uh, top five largest oil and gas projects in Africa by investment. Uh, Dana Gas wins arbitration. Nigeria seeks funding for pipeline after China backs out. And um, Silwani Diamond to explore um, offshore uh, Guinea Bissau. Uh, so, yeah. So, if you're just joining us, um, thanks for coming on. Um, we try to do this once a week. Yeah. We uh, been lagging a little bit here lately, but so let's get into it. So for our oil prices, that is for our WTI US side, it is seventy three dollars and fifty nine cents. For the Brent, it is seventy six and a nickel there, seventy six oh five. So. Um, the only other thing to mention here, we mentioned it this morning on um, output. Uh, output, listen to me. That's a that's actually an old brand we used to have, but uh, over time, um, API data released uh, July twenty seventh showed U.S. crude oil stocks fell by four point seven three million barrels in the week ending July the twenty third. That's the only note for the oil price. Um, yeah, not a not a whole lot of change there. Well, other than there's a big draw where we had a a huge increase last week. So, um, yeah, it's in the numbers of playing around with the scales and the charts, but, uh, it's good to see that there is some, uh, some, uh, stock uh, being removed there. So hopefully I get sorted out, but, uh, right. So let's move into our market news. Um, this was, uh, this was something I thought was very interesting, but it's the top five largest oil and gas projects in Africa by investment. Um, these are, I uh, see, starting with uh, Tanzania, uh, the LNG uh, liquefaction plant. This is a $30 billion project that's led by Shell. The uh, Rovama LNG, I'm going to pronounce some of these wrong, but uh, Rovama. LNG project. This is a $30 billion project led by Exxon Mobil. Um, the Mozambique LNG. It's a $20, uh, 20, $20. Let's do LNG for 20. Um, this is a $20 billion project led by Total. The Oda Jabedin gas park. This is a $20 billion project fully owned by Nigerian Petroleum Corporation. The uh, Zaba Zava Zava and uh, ETAN development. This is a $13.5 billion offshore development. Um, This is being led by Shell, ENI, and Agip. Um, Those are your largest projects in Africa by investment. Um, Next up is Dana Gas wins an arbitration here. Um, anyone that is uh, familiar with this knows that Dana Gas put its assets in Egypt up for sale a you know, bit of time back. Uh, first buyers up to the plate was um, IPR Wastani Petroleum. According to the claim, uh, IPR Wastani was not able to complete a number of conditions prior to the transaction by the long stop date of April 14, 2021. Obviously, if these conditions were not met, then Dana would want to terminate the agreement. IPR Wastani disputed Dana's claim and filed for arbitration. Well, it came back and uh, Dana Gas has been awarded a win in the case. They have since decided not to sell the assets and will continue to operate them. So, glad to see Dana back in the game there. Next one up is uh, Nigeria seeks funding for pipeline after China backs out. So the NNPC is reaching out publicly 
or made a statement publicly for investment in their AKK gas pipeline project, um, stating the investment is in the value of one billion USD. This is coming about after China lenders pledged to provide the funds and then failed to come to the table after NNPC started construction. I mean, here for me, this looks like a case of uh, someone thinking it was there and then COVID hit and things slowed down. Although some pledges can be made, it's it's harder to follow up when there's world changing events, stuff that you can't foresee. But in NPC, you're still speaking with the lenders and trying to get it sorted out. Next one up on the list is the Silwani Diamond. Um, looks like they'll be exploring offshore, getting this out. So Wani Diamond out of the UAE has executed an agreement with the ADA Energy in Guinea-Bissau. So for those that do not know where Guinea-Bissau is, it is between Guinea and Senegal on the West Coast. This agreement covers the offshore exploration of fields four and five, where the potential reserves sit at three billion barrels of recoverable crude. So Wani shares will be at 50% of the recoverable reserves. So, those are our top news and uh, articles for this week for West Africa. There was a couple more in there. There was another one about Recon Africa, you know, buying out Renaissance. And that one's kind of been on the plate there for the last three or four months. That finally went through as well as Recon um, finishing up their second well. So um, Looks like they have some hydrocarbon architecture there. It looks like they've gotten Namibia on board and they'll be doing some more seismic work. We spoke last week about, uh, about recon. So, um, yeah, we, uh, that was all for West Africa for, for this week. Um, anybody have any questions here? Let's see. Oh, we got in Peru, we got the UK. Um, we got some EG. Um, yeah. Thanks everybody for coming to the show. And if there's no other questions, uh, I'm your host, Greg Williams, and this is West Africa weekly, and we will see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. You've been watching West Africa weekly, a live series brought to you by rig links and RV core. Nahar. Your hosts have been Greg and Arby. for sponsorship opportunities. Send us an email at info at riglinks.com. Tune in next Thursday at 8 a.m. CST for another live episode.